Security. Belay that. Don't you dare. Captain, please, you must trust me. Prepare to have your mind blown as we delve into the latest episode of Star Trek Picard Season 3, titled Imposters. The episode deals with the devastating consequences of infiltrators, discreetly invading what seems like all levels of Starfleet. With paranoia and deception running rampant, even the esteemed Admiral Picard and his crew aren't safe from danger. But that's not all, as we also see the return of someone very close to John Luke. The cameo appearance as this episode is sure to hit home with die-hard Star Trek fans. As the episode begins, we are immediately thrown into a dream sequence where Jack Crusher, in a Starfleet uniform, goes on a killing spree on the bridge, infecting people with these notorious red tentacles, or whatever they are. But this is just the beginning of a roller coaster ride of twists and turns that will leave you breathless. With Jack wearing a uniform given to him by Seven to hide in plain sight, we see him struggle with hallucinations while some crew members are beaming over to the Intrepid, leaving the Titan with a skeleton crew. The episode also explores the aftermath of the Dominion War and how it still affects Starfleet's policies. As Dr. Oak and Crusher do an autopsy on a changeling body, they discover that the infiltrators can now bypass blood screenings and other Starfleet anti-changing security systems. This leads to a mind-bending scene where Beverly removes some of the changeling's organs, which appear like human organs but revert to their gelatinous state under intense dissection. As we join Worf and Raffi, they discover someone who has the means to get past the AI system at Daystrom, an associate of Sneed, Kryn, the kingpin of the Velashi crime syndicate. They go to investigate the Kryn and find themselves in a situation that has them locked into a battle against each other. The big reason for the episode's success is the surprising return of Bajoran commander Ro Laren, a character who has a complex history with Picard, Riker, and Starfleet itself. Though her time on The Next Generation ended with her decision to ultimately defect and join the resistance group known as the Maquis, an act Picard viewed as a deeply personal and professional betrayal, as Picard points out, Roe has returned to the organization she once abandoned, was court-martialed, went to prison, and is now an official investigator, charged with leading the probe into the potential treason Picard and Riker committed by commandeering the Titan in the first place. Though by the episode's end, we learn she's been digging into the changeling problem in secret. The complicated dance of regret, anger, and yes, genuine affection that still clearly exists between Picard and Roe is the emotional engine that powers the bulk of the episode, and Patrick Stewart and Michelle Forbes are, unsurprisingly, still absolutely fantastic together. That Picard, a man who has given so much to Starfleet, is still angry about Roe's defection makes plenty of sense, but what Stewart's performance reveals is how personally he took her decision, and, in fact, how genuinely hurt he was by it. The same, intriguingly enough, can also be said for Roe, who clearly still longs for the approval of the man who first gave her a chance, and is apparently equally hurt that his belief in her couldn't go far enough to trust that she had a genuine belief in and reason for the choices she made so long ago. So buckle up and get ready for an action-packed episode that will keep you on the edge of your seat. With plot twists and shocking revelations around every corner, Imposters is a must-watch for any Star Trek fan. So what are you waiting for? Engage. <laughs>